Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to take a look at the uh, on-screen keyboard within Reason 8. Uh, this is useful for if you are on the road and you don't have access to a, a MIDI keyboard controller, but you still want to uh, get some ideas down, then you can turn your QWERTY keyboard on your laptop into a little keyboard that you can use to play sounds. So. I'm in the sequencer here and down at the bottom you'll see here on the transport bar you have keys. By pressing that, that will bring up the uh, on-screen piano keys. And that's essentially what you want. Alternatively, you can also press F4 and it will bring up the same thing. I'm just hitting F4. Now I'm going to start with the first tab here and that's mouse. With this one, you can use your pointer to play the keys. And this window can be resized. So if you drag, and the keyboard, as you can see, expands out as you adjust the window length, giving you more keys to choose from. At the top here, I'm going to shrink that back down. At the top here, you get a visual, visual representation of uh, piano keys, and this green area indicates which uh, area of the keyboard is active down here. So, and if I were to move this up, I can just grab it and hold with the left pointer and drag up. And you can see that then these keys correspond to wherever this uh, green shaded area is up at the top. And over to the left here, you have a repeat checkbox. If you tick that box and press, the note will re repeat in quarter notes with a quarter rest. And you do need to uh, untick that box in order to make it stop. Um, and then at the bottom here, you have hold. If I check that, obviously it will just hold the note. And I can click that note to make it stop. Whereas with the repeat, you have to uncheck it. With hold, you can just click again, and it will turn it off. You can also uncheck the box. Okay, now moving on to the computer keys, this other tab. Again, you have the shaded area which represents what uh, the QWERTY keyboard will play on the uh, piano keys up at the top. And I can move down by hitting Z, and you can, it gives it tells you what octave you're at. I'm at C1 right now. I just press Z. X will move back up. You can see that this changes up top here. I'm going to Z, go down to C1. Z down one more. X going up, okay, and you have the same repeat and hold function here. Uh, they function in the same way if I check the repeat and press D, you can see here that the D is repeating in quarter notes with a quarter rest and you have to uncheck check the box you can't hit D again to make it stop you have to uncheck that box withhold I'll check that press D and it holds I press D again on my keyboard and it stops you can also uncheck the box and it will stop uh, shift is sustain and um, 
the velocity information is here to the uh, to the right. It's at 98 currently. On above the QWERTY keyboard, you can see that the velocity is set based on whatever the number key is set on. So if I choose seven, then it's going to drop down to 84. If I choose six, it will drop down to 70. Five. Uh, 56 and I just you can click on these or you can hit the number the numbers above the QWERTY keyboard and that will then change the velocity uh, so whatever you have this set to that's what it's going to record your velocity uh, within the sequencer so if I hit record and then stop there and I'll go into uh, the editor you can see once I select the note within the inspector the velocity is sh shown as 84 now that's what we have the velocity set to here so whatever you have it set to each note is going to be that same velocity there is a function let me get exit out of there and delete that clip. Now, there is a velocity variation function. It's set to none right now, but you also have several other choices where it will vary light, medium, or heavy. So if I choose medium and then record again, And then let's take a look at that. You can then see you've got variation within the velocity information for each note that you've played. So that, that's another useful thing um, that you can do. And I think that that pretty much covers everything here. Um, so yeah, that's the on-screen piano keys. I actually love these. They always work for me, and I'm on the road, and I don't have a, a keyboard controller, so I use this all the time. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get a you know, lightweight, portable MIDI keyboard uh, to use, but until then, I'll be using the on-screen piano keys. And uh, if you need them, they're there. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.